It is Friday, you minties, and this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition. And join me today as I do an overview of all the Blue Bomber art books available here in America from Udon Studios. So, please stay tuned. Alright, it is finally time to talk about the Blue Bomber, Mega Man. I can't believe I've had this channel for over three years and I've not yet talked about my love for this character. Mega Man, the Blue Bomber right here, otherwise known as Rockman in Japan. Japan! So let's take a look at each art book, and before I get started, thank you to the folks at Udon for supplying us with some of these books right here that I will be showcasing. But let's get started with Mega Man, the, where it all began. I'm gonna try to make this as quickly as possible. We have a lot of books to cover. All of these are now released in hardcover edition, by the way. Uh, originally they came out in a softcover edition, but Udon decided to make them into hardcovers and they look so good. They look so nice. I'll, I'll look at uh, one of the books here, for example, to give you an idea of what they all look like. So let's go where it all began with Mega Man 1. This brings back so many memories of renting the video game in 1987 and then renting Mega Man 2. Man, and Mega Man 1 just kicked my ass so hard. And I thought I was the man in Mega Man 2 going through all the Robot Masters. Uh, Mega Man 3, I remember renting that one, and I think finally I bought Mega Man 4. That's right, we used to rent video games. I'm not going to flip through all the pages to kind of give you an idea of what the artwork looks like. Um, yeah, I think I bought Mega Man 4 with like some um, money that I made over the summer by like, either hanging tobacco or cutting lawns, whatever it was. It was mine, and it was my copy, and it had Feral Man, Skull Man, and all those characters. And... I remember going back and buying all the original Mega Man later on as I was in high school, collecting them all. So this book brings back a lot of memories, mainly because they use the original art towards the beginning here. Uh, this is updated stuff, of course, from promotional artwork. But the, here's the original artwork. Here's what the instruction booklet looked like. Obviously not the American covers, right? We all know what that looks like, and actually some of that is collected in here. Uh, but they also collect all the other covers, too, of games that didn't even make it over to America, like Mega Man World, Mega Man Mega World, uh, Power Battle, which was an arcade game, and they, oh, the racing game, that's right, the Rush uh, Rush Roadstar or something. So you have artwork from all those games, so not just Mega Man. Mega Man and Forte, or Mega Man uh, and Bass, Rock Man and Bass, rather. And, oh, yes, here are the remakes back here when they were released, I think, on the PlayStation and on the Sega Saturn. And then, of course, you have Mega Man 9 and 10, which were released digitally a few years ago. Not 11 yet. Oh, and this is the Mega Man Powered Up, which had two characters. Time Man and Oil Man, I believe. Yeah, these guys right here. See, I could just spend so much time on just Mega Man 1, but I realize that this is more than that. That's from the animated series. There is a tribute book, which I'll look at here in a little bit. And... Here's all the stats for the Robot Masters. In each game, you had eight Robot Masters, with the exception of one, right? You only had six, and then you had to fight Dr. Wily and all his levels. Here's Mega Man 9, all the character sketches. Mega Man 9 is actually the first one that introduced Splash Woman for the first time you're fighting a woman. Because before that, it was Rock, uh, Rock Man, the hell that's his name, Guts Man, Cuts Man, Elect Man. But for the first time in Mega Man 9, we introduced... Splash Woman. And then it goes through uh, interviews back here. Now this one retails for $39.99. Here's Mega Man X. So this is the series that originated on the Super Nintendo and it features the character of X and of course Zero, the sword slashing dude that eventually got his own series later on and also an art book. But their characters, they're no longer fighting men. They're fighting now um, villains named after creatures. So it's a little bit different. It's Rockman X. So yes, in Japan it is known as Rockman. And all of these games, I think the collections have been available on the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. Uh, the collection on the GameCube, on the Nintendo, I think it was on the Wii, and of course on the Switch. However, the Switch has a downloadable X2 and Mega Man Collection 2. I'm not a fan of that. I like physical media. So, this is all the stuff from Mega Man X. Every one of those games are included in here. 
pretty much anything with Mega Man X on the title. And then there's other art books. Now, if you're a little lost, they have this little booklet that my daughter cannot put down. Alicia loves this. She became infatuated with Mega Man. That shows all the characters here. And this one's updated with Mega Man um, 10 and 11. 9, 10, and 11. So it's got all the characters from Mega Man 9, 10, and 11. And that is, this is the newer version. Now, not, not only the bad guys, but also the... Ah, uh, there's Splash Woman. The allies. Then you have all the weapons. Then the humans. Secret projects. And then where the characters showed up in which game. The Blue Bomber has such a huge following. There's also a tribute book. This is the soft cover. There is a hardcover version of this. This is just pretty much fan artwork uh, that Udon published here in the United States. Again, this is also available in hardcover. Uh, this is the soft cover version that I have not upgraded yet that I need to. But it's just fan artwork from some of the greatest artists around the world just showing their love of Mega Man. There's been a Street Fighter one, and I think, was it Udon? They've done an Udon just tribute book. So it's great to see all this love for Capcom characters, especially a character that meant so much to me. So this has characters from uh, Mega Man as well as Mega Man X. Now, there's also this 25th anniversary soft cover that I decided to keep. Uh, this pretty much puts Mega Man and Mega Man X together in one edition. However, there's about almost 100 pages of extras that are not included in those books. And that's the reason why I kept this. Uh, there's more sketches and posters and artwork in the back. <laughs> that's the Mega Man 9. Yeah. I can't believe they actually had a physical edition of that and there's Mega Man 10 in the retro style that from the American Mega Man release there's the European box set covers and the American box set covers in this one uh, there was not a hardcover version of this one released and that's why I decided to keep this because well maybe Udon one day will release a hardcover version of this one but this is the only one that's available in this format right here and that's soft cover and this one retails for $59.99 but it's Mega Man 25th anniversary. And then we got Mega Man for a whole new generation, the Game Boy Advance generation, if you will. Uh, this is Mega Man from the Battle Network, is what this game was called, or EXE, as it is known as in Japan. And I want to say there, there are games in between X and this game, because there was a Mega Man series called Mega Man Legends that was on the PlayStation 2, there was a Nintendo 64 version, and Tron, that's where Tron Boone, Tron Bond's from. So th those characters are all from that game, but we don't have an art book for that for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, so this game right here is completely different. It's no longer a 2D side-scroller. It's more of an RPG. Actually, it's more like Pokemon where you create um, or capture characters and then add to their skills and, and fight other villagers in your town. So this one was a pretty interesting take, but me, I'm a huge fan of art books. Uh, they have reimagined most of the characters from the original Mega Man, like Iceman, Woodman, Skullman, Fireman. They all have a different take, their own Battle Network take. And then there was a follow-up to this series here, too. And by the way, this series, I wanted to do a quick comparison. This is what I'm... Um, originally came out these are the soft covers and then this of course is the hardcover editions and I'll showcase uh, the other ones that I still have but it's the same book it's just in soft cover format and has this nice chromium cover on it they all do all the soft covers do see what I mean chromium cover and then this is the follow-up here Mega Man Star Force this is a follow-up to the uh, Battle Network series where you have a new character and Mega Man looks different and it's honestly, it's a little more, I don't know, grown up ish, adult ish. Is that the right term? I'm not really sure. But this is what it looks like. So you can tell the character designs. So yeah, they look a little more grown up. They don't look as kiddish. And I know that's ridiculous to say when I look at a picture like that. But they don't look like kids like they did in the previous book, in the Battle Network book. Even the characters of the villains are updated too. But, again, this is a follow-up to that series that is more like Pokemon than a 2D side-scroller Mega Man. But there's always room for 2D side-scrollers, right? There's always room for that. 
Because as long as there's Mega Man and people like me that grew up with the fondness of 2D side scrollers, there's going to be updated versions of the game. Like we had Mega Man 11 recently. Uh, what was it? Mighty Number no. Nine. Even though I know some people didn't care for that, I'm surprised there's not an art book for that um, that Udon brought over. Um, that and of course Mega Man Legends, but I don't know if there's an actual Mega Man Legends art book in Japan or not. Um, but yes, as I was saying, there's always going to be 2D side scrollers. As a matter of fact, here let's look at the next book and then talk about the build of the books. We have Mega Man Zero again. Here is the original release with the chromium cover and it's in soft cover, and then we have the nicer hard cover. The prices of the hardcovers range anywhere from $34.99 to $44.99. But this is Mega Man Zero. Man, the, these are gorgeously drawn. Again, we're back to 2D animation, and it is the story of Zero. And why he looks different, well, you can figure that out for yourself whenever you play the games. Or spoil it for yourself whenever you look through the art book. But it's back to 2D animation, side-scrolling action. Uh, originally released... On the Game Boy Advance, then there was a collection released on the Nintendo. It wasn't the 3DS, maybe it was just the DS. And now there's a collection of this and ZX on the Nintendo Switch. So again, separated by the heroes and allies towards the very beginning, like Ciel here, and all the allies, and then of course the villains here after that, and then the settings. So, I mean, all the books are very similar in the way that they're separated. And then you have character designs, and then interviews, if there are any. And here we have the special content, which I can't go through because that will spoil things. So, as far as the build of the books, the hardcovers are wonderful. They are... Uh, I love the graphics on the actual board. Uh, there's no dust jacket. And I'm sure you could probably tell as I was flipping through the pages of these books, they are all sewn binding, and there's your eye. So there's really no gutter loss. Uh, but we're not done yet with Mega Man, because there's other things too. We have Mega Man Master Mix. This is the manga that has been reproduced. Uh, these are soft cover, but they has been reproduced, and I haven't seen this in a long time, with color. They look really nice. I know Archie for the longest time had the rights to Mega Man. And then they had the whole crossover with Sonic. And I don't even know who owns the rights to the comic anymore. But because there was an American comic. Here's the robot designs from the manga. And of course the cover gallery. How could you not do a homage to Days of Future Past? Love that they have the 8-bit characters there. An homage to Mega Man 2. Then the... Oh, that is freaking beautiful. That's a tribute by Hitoshi Ariga. Street Fighter books. And here is volume 2. These retail for $19.99, like I said. Uh, these, I think, were originally published in black and white, but these are the color versions of the manga. Just to showcase some of this artwork. Just my boy Snake Man, probably my favorite character in Mega Man 3. Let's look at the back here. Censoring that page because I don't want to give anything away. But looking at the covers here. Love that cover. And only two are available. I don't think they've done anything else. And then, of course, don't forget these awesome pins that are available from the Udon shop. They're freaking awesome. My daughter and I collect these. They're great. Now, you can find most of these books available from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. Your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was it. That was a quick view of these books. Please let me know in the comments down below what the Blue Bomber means to you. If you even know who Mega Man is, if you ever played a Mega Man game, if you grew up with Mega Man X or Mega Man Zero or Mega Man Battle Network, man, that's going to make me feel old. Or what do you think? Should we also get a Mega Man 
Legends art book as well. Please leave those comments down below. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, Saturday, live at 11 o'clock in the morning. I'll be doing a Q&A, as I always do, and that is 11 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. It is a live show, and I go on for a couple hours just answering questions about collected editions or just comics in general. So, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, check out our Patreon. We have different tiers for our Patreons that are available. All of that is in the description down below. We are also on Redbubble, where you can get our logo on stickers, hats, t-shirts, whatever it is that you want. Mugs, beer mugs, I'm really not sure what they sell there. Again, all that is in the description down below. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.